My guy's Allie Pierce at the ranch, and I'm on the ranch, as you can well see. We're out here, as a matter of fact, <laughs> it is uh, beginning of June. The uh, fields are just starting to come up nicely into hay. It's about a foot tall, and we're putting in some new fencing because we're going to open up the corral for the horses a little bit and let them wander into some of these bushy areas so they can clean them out and have, have more grass. Uh, so anyway, so we're out here. We're, we're putting in fence posts. We have to lock down a bunch of trees. And in order to knock down trees, <clears throat> we can chainsaw them and yank the roots out. But often in cases, all we want to do is lop. That's the word, lop. It's English, what do you want? Lop off some branches. So what, what do you do to lop off branches? Small ones and big ones, what do you do? We use a lopper. <laughs> I love English. But anyway, we use a lopper. And we have lots of loppers. Shears and loppers are very important. One of the most important tools we have. Now here's a, here's a lopper. That is a, is, is a big brand name. I won't bother telling you the name. Uh, but it's a very big brand name and pretty typical. It has a it has a, a, a an edge that doesn't cut. It has a sharp edge here that does cut. And they come together like a pair of scissors. And they cut up pretty big branches. And they have most of the usual features. You can extend it if you have to reach out where you have to. I'll tell you, it's a good lopper. Not a bad lopper at all, you know. But it's, it's limited to about an inch. Maybe an inch and a quarter. And then you have to work at it as well. Because <clears throat> the blade only cuts from one side. So what happens is that the wood gets jammed up in the cut and it's a little bit tough to do although we use it quite a bit now here's another lopper i have no idea who makes this one that's fine somebody else and, and this is very very similar okay it's just a similar action it extends as well okay which is good it's, it, same kind of action but this one's pretty neat because if you look right in here you can see that this one actually has little gears not gears but like a little teeth or a paw so what happens is when you open it up and you clamp on something then you're going to open up some more and this moves up you can clamp tighter and tighter and tighter let me show you how that works i'm going to go over here for just a minute in that lopper i showed you with the rats it in there. The ratchet simply gives you more uh, more power. That's all it does. Okay? You make the handles longer and maybe you're big and strong but if, if you can't do that then this ratchet, it, it simply moves the fulcrum closer to the blade so you get more power. Now watch what I mean. And Diana, if you focus right here on those uh, on that right there. You see that spot right there? So it takes, I'm going to start cutting through. Oh, that's tough. So now you open it a bit. You see that moves up? You see that? You get more power. Oh, that's tough. I open it a bit. It moves up again. Should move up again. I'm not doing it right. So there you go. It moves up again. Now you get lots of power. And finally, you're at the very top. Lots of power. And it cuts through. So so these are pretty good. This this type of lopper, if, you, if you're dealing a lot with with a fairly large brush. And that's uh, that's an inch and a bit. Inch and a bit. That's, a, that's a, 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 an official technical measurement, by the way. A bit. A little while ago, we were at a big, big farm show. One of the biggest farm shows in North America. It was it's called the Royal Winter Fair, uh, Agricultural Royal Winter Fair in Toronto. And and I came to this to this booth, and this guy had these. Okay, I, yeah, that's kind of neat, nice lopper. I know this is a little bit different. <clears throat> in this particular style, you can see right here. There's a section right there with teeth on it and there's a sharp blade right here and that blade as you go in watch that blade doesn't go past it it doesn't cut like a pair of scissors you see that ah yeah this is called an anvil lopper it's like an anvil i guess bang you bang right in the middle of it so right in the middle of it and this guy had a little demonstration there he had a, he had a whole bunch of sticks of wood different sizes from half inch to two inch and uh, <laughs> i stopped and and he was watching me and he said you interested in this said, of course i am yeah. so uh so he showed it to me and he had some sticks there and i'm going to show you how this lopper works now it uses a similar cam action watch what happens here you go up you see Ah, you see? And you go up again, more power. Ah, it's just a tough one. More power. And finally, you get, ah, and it cuts off like that. Now, you can also lock this shut so it can't open. Protect yourself. It's also got the extensions on. It's just, it's just a really, really, it looked like a really good lopper. So we bought one. It wasn't cheap. I think it was a hundred bucks, which is, which is quite a bit because you can buy decent loppers for 60, 50, 60, 70 bucks. But, Watch this. I'm going to show you one of these again. Just so you'll know up front, I'm not trying to sell this, but see, you don't know it because I know you're going to send comments. And one of them, what, what's brand name? Okay, so this is this is from Holland Pro 
Holland, Holland Imports is what you have to search for on Google. Holland Imp, and this is their greenhouse. They have several different product lines. This is their greenhouse line. And this is a greenhouse pro. Because I'm a pro, right? <laughs> anyway, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice line. Let's see what happens here. So let's go for a small one. Well, I, uh, let's see, this is one thing. You, you need to go through that ratchet cycle for every branch. Keep that little bit thing like that. So let's go after this one here. This is, looks to be about an inch, maybe a bit more than an inch. And it, it goes through there like, like it doesn't exist. Now this piece right down here is getting up pretty big. Uh, I got to say, it's more than an inch, an inch and a quarter, maybe getting close to an inch and a half. How does it work on that? Now, first of all, you got to keep it at 90 degrees. A lot of people don't do that. They cut an angle. We are cutting more wood. So you just go like that and right to the end and that, that cuts off. How, how big is that there? It's more than an inch, inch and a quarter, right? And that was nothing. That was, it's not even, that's not even hot yet. <laughs> here's, a, here's, a, here's, a, here's a good size one here. Now this is getting down here to an uh, inch and three, maybe as much as two inches. And, and you know, this lopper just says, come on, is that the best you can do? Give me something half decent. So it's pretty impressive. And you saw very little effort. Now, if you get something, you can't cut down a tree with it. But you can cut down some mighty big branches. And, and, and if you have to reach up nice and high, open it up nice and wide. And, and the nice thing about this is, it's got a, places where you can stop, lock it in place. So you don't have to have it all the way open. Okay, so that's the one thing I wanted to show you, mainly, was this particular lopper, anvil style, and from this particular company. But I wanted to say one more thing, and again, I'm not being paid, I think you all know that Kevin and I don't get any money for our videos at all, we don't get nothing, it costs us money to do this. So I'm not getting paid, uh, hauling imports, they, they don't know I'm even doing this. But, a little while, I keep my tools really sharp. Also makes it easier because I'm an old man. You have sharp tools when you're an old man. You can't be fighting. So I, 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 I take this blade to take it apart. It comes apart quite easily. Take that blade out and I sharpen it. I actually have a video we just did on, on sharpeners. Check that video out. Kevin will put the link on to that video. And I sharpen this blade. So that's the kind of company it is as well. They seem to be really, really nice folks. And it's a heck of a lopper. So, uh, so, uh, so, so anyway, take a look for it if you want. I'll get Kevin to put the link on there. And maybe this, if you do a lot of heavy bushes, we're doing here, Dan and I, maybe this will save you a lot of time and trouble and aggravation and sore muscles. Okay, that's it. Allie Pierce at the ranch. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.